facing the Middle East Borders! What, you really thought I was gonna fix the Middle East borders? One look at this place and you're getting cancelled. But well, lucky for me, cancelled is not in my vocabulary. So let's get on with it. This region right here. Technically it's a part of Asia, but... Heck, I'm going to try to extend this series out as far as possible. Soon every country in the world will begin their own one. So if you remember in the European Borders video, we made the Neo-Byzantine Empire. But the Byzantine Empire at their peak controlled many lands in Africa and Asia, too. So, I think I think we should give them at least something. Maybe not exactly what they had historically, but... What if I just continue this little peninsula thing that, that Turkey has down here? Continue it all the way down. Um, and then we just link it up with this area. And then it will travel down into this unspecified country. And this unspecified country. There, that looks nice. Now they have, what they call this, the Levant region. Yeah, they have that. Under their control. But now Syria is landlocked and it looks kind of weird. If I'm being honest, Syria always sort of looked like a Cybertron to me Syria will become overrun by robots and will be our first robot led society it's about time the cyborgs take control and I mean heck didn't Poland have a AI CEO we're not that far away from robots leading a country and they'd probably do a better job than the official government that was a joke. By the way, that was a joke. Now, the Middle East also has a lot of oil in it, as you all probably know. <clears throat> America will directly annex every major oil and gas field in the Middle East. Sounds like perfect balanced world to me. Now, we'll no longer have to keep bringing freedom to the Middle East because we have it ourselves. That sounds like perfect balance to me. USA! USA! The field of oil. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now let's get back to the actual countries, though. Iraq has already lost a bunch of their land to the USA. There is a place called Kurdistan that was going to be made in between all these countries of Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and I, I believe it was in Syria as well. Yeah, this is kind of more what I remember. But that looks fine enough. I mean, maybe... Yeah, yeah, that, that looks good enough, right? That, that looks kind of nice, you know? Alright, let's get down to Jordan. Alright, I have turned Jordan into a basketball court because its new ruler is going to be Michael Jordan. Yes, I did that. Michael Jordan will turn the entirety of Jordan into a basketball court and just play on it for uh, years on end practice for basketball. This is cursed. <laughs> Michael Jordan will be fighting the robots soon. <laughs> oh, 
do I do? Alright, now, if you look over here at Pakistan, its border is just kind of... It looks odd. Also, this country up here, I forgot what it is. Um, I'm going to make there just slightly bigger at the cost of Iran. Because Iran is big enough. And they do not need more land. In Pakistan, you can go like... There. See, Iran still has a coastline. If we make this area its own country, then I think we've made a country's four corners. And that's kind of sick, so... I'm gonna make this area its own country. Let me get this German gray. I'll use it for Oman. <laughs> Oh, mine actually looks pretty nice. Oh man, what am I gonna do to fix this country? <laughs> that was hilarious, wasn't it? That was that was just the funniest thing I've ever seen. So there was a plan that was brought around by Saudi Arabia to turn Qatar into an actual island, just like Bahrain right here. And I think that would be funny, so let's go with it. Just like Rhode Island before it in the U.S. States video, Qatar will now become an island. You know, Qatar already looks a bit like an island, so it won't be that big of a change to me. Just as the Saudis wanted. Okay, Yemen. Yeah, there's a civil war going on in Yemen right now. Why don't we just end the Civil War by getting rid of Yemen? You didn't have to cut me off. I can never know we were nothing. We needed your love. First of all, Oman will take huge territories because they're right there. Sure, they can touch this field of oil if they want. Now we have this massive Omadi Empire. Since I don't know what to do with the rest, I'm gonna bring back the good old British Aiden Protector. Which was like there. I guess the Houthis can get their own nation. The Iran backed rebels. So long as they don't target any more ships. But luckily, I know just the way to fix. Perfect! Now we can keep them under close surveillance. Alright, and finally this area... I guess it can be split again. Boom! Yemen has been partitioned, baby! Also, Qatar can take over Bahrain. Because there's another islands to now. And Iran. Oh, wait, what do I call this new country? Down here that I made. Yeah, what do I call this? I think that pretty much sums up the UAE, not gonna lie. I'm gonna call this. Pakiran. Pakiran. It could be Pakistan's, it could be Iran's. Who knows? It's just Pakiran. They'll probably fight a war over it. It was only made for four corners right there. And as we look over our very prosperous, very peaceful, non violent, and non controversial Middle East, I would just like to say, please, make sure to like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out my other fixing videos if you haven't already. They're really funny. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.